Hey guys, Johnny Farrow here, and today I am in Mixed Media Girls Studio, and she is going to show me how to make custom guitar picks. We're going to be using Stone Coat Countertop Countertop Resin. I love the guys at Stone Coat; they're awesome, and they make killer stuff. And then this is Alumalite Violet Translucent Dye, which I'm going to make. Y'all know I like the color purple, so we're going to make some picks out of that resin stuff you can use to play with also you can use it to make killer merch for your band so stay tuned we're going to do that coming up right now so guys i got mixed media girl with me now say hi honey hi honey yeah <laughs> and uh so here we go we're mixing up the resin this is a two-part resin so it's a part a and a part b equal parts right yes cool and then we're gonna just stir it real good here. This is just your standard paint stir stick you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you shop. And then how long do you want to stir this for, Ben? Uh, a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, um, now because, so these are silicone molds that I got off of Etsy. They're tiny, they're just picks, right? Um, and we're just making two of them. So I am mixing up extra resin. I will usually use leftover resin for a project like this. Um, in this case, I'm mixing up extra and I'll use a little bit for this and then I'll use the rest for another project just because it is such a tiny, 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 tiny amount, like a fraction of an ounce really, which it's pretty impossible to mix up that small of an amount. So, yep, I keep these molds around so that I can use up any leftover resin. Now in terms of the dye. Yes, I was just gonna ask. You need to keep stirring. I'm gonna keep stirring. Um, you would need, this stuff is so strong. So we're gonna put one drop in here. And that's honestly probably even more than enough. Mm -hmm. um, you could, for such a small portion, you could take a toothpick even and dip it in here and put it in there. But it's, it'll be all good. And by the way, the Stone Coat countertop resin, as well as the dyes, too, are available on their website, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the resin and the dye available at Stone Coat countertop website, which I will put in my description for anyone that wants to try this for their own purposes. So it's really important when re mixing resin that you scrape the sides uh -huh. and the bottom. You want to make sure that it's fully, 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 fully mixed. Otherwise, you can kind of get little pockets where it doesn't fully cure. So, pockets are not the cure for anything. Right. All right, that should be sufficient. So, now we're just going to put a little bit in here. And you know what? I'm going to just, I'll use this color for my next project, anyways. Yay! So go ahead and mix that up. Okay, and I'm gonna mix in the camera so you can see how that, how far that little drop yeah, of resin goes. Yeah, literally go. put one drop of resin in there, and that's now about. Or of, oh wow, or a drop of dye. I'm sorry. Yeah, one drop yeah. of dye, and Holy that's. Holy uh, I put two or three ounces of resin in there. That so. is really dark. Yeah. But it's cool. I mean, obviously, it'll. You put it in there, it'll. Yeah, and it's. Uh, I mean, you could put literally up to like 10 percent of the dye to the resin and it would cure fine, but obviously that would be like... That'd be overkill. You, yeah, you don't need that much. Yeah, but this is so cool. Look at this color, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So now it's impossible to pour the right amounts into here. So once again, I just take the stick and just drip it in there. It is self-leveling, um, but I usually just put some in there and then I'll take a toothpick and I'll kind of help it to the edges just to make sure I have enough in there. Make sure, try to not go over because that's just extra work for yourself later sanding it down. Right. And by the way, guys, these picks that I'm making now are fairly thick. You can get different thicknesses of pick um, in different molds. Just, you know, you can go on Etsy and look up uh, guitar pick silicon mold and you'll find all sorts of things that you can... Uh, that you can get, I personally like a thicker pick. So these well, they're, thicker. they're thick depending on how much resin you put in. Well, there's that too. You can put a really thin layer of resin. True. But I like a fat pick. So, as you can see, like, we made no dent in the cup. Because right. we're just dripping a little bit of resin in there. 
and then moving it around just make sure we do have enough and by the way honey you can find uh molds of these where it's like a dozen of them in one mold or something like they, they have in batch molds as well. yeah is that right oh you mean like in one mold altogether um i i assume i don't know if not you can i mean these molds are super like how much are these molds are really inexpensive i don't right? remember i bought them a while ago but they're like cents right like or like around a buck a piece or something like that. I I don't remember. Okay, fine. You can keep asking. I still won't remember. I might. Ask I know a they weren't times. super expensive. Like they were like twenty bucks or something. Or I probably wouldn't have bought them. Um. But yeah, that's literally it. Uh. I. You can torch these. I don't generally recommend torching silicone molds just because you can wreck your mold. But you can do it like super briefly like that, and that's about it. That's what's the purpose of that again? That's to get the air bubbles out. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll set these aside. They'll be cured. They'll be dry basically within like 24 hours or so. Um, and then I usually leave them in there for several days to harden. Um, if you pull them out before that, you'll see that they're super duper bendy and they really won't be at their hardest for like 30 days. Cool. And then, so we do have a couple of picks here that we made earlier, that you made earlier. Yeah. These are, um, what is, this is a purple glitter powder that you got in here, like a mica? No, it's glitter. Oh, it is just glitter. Cool. Yeah. So glitter. this is resin with glitter, and this is fully cured. So these are totally very hard. They don't flex at all, so they're fully, fully cured. And they just have a little edge on them, right? Mm hmm So you just take some sandpaper and just kind of sand that down. Is that it? Yes. Perfect. So I'm going to do that now. Just the very end. Yeah. Just to get any rough edges off. And this is, what What grid is this? This is 60 it looks like. <laughs> so fairly coarse. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what you use. But yeah. you're just briefly sanding the edges. And you can sand the, the front too if you want. If you want it to be a mat, you yeah. probably want to use higher than 60 because 60 will really scratch it up. Yeah. Also, like if you do sand the front, that would give it make it a little more grippy, right? Yeah. Just to would etch it a little. So there you go. That is what a finished pick looks like, sanded and all. I'm going to do the other one. Mm -hmm. And these are picks that I will now myself actually use when I play on stage or in the studio. And these are really cool. Just I've played with some of these picks before, and they actually get a really great tone to them. Um, they just respond really well to just to, to my guitars and to the strings, and it's just really killer, unique tone you get. It's a little different than a plastic pick or a wood pick you can so. also make jewelry out of them they make really cool necklaces uh resin is super easy to drill through so you just take a little drill a little hole you can make it into earrings or a necklace or whatever you want yeah and you could get stickers made and put your decal on it if you want or something like that and then, yeah. like, you know stuff like that so Endless it's, possibilities. yeah sky's kind of the limit so it can be a cool merch thing or if you just want to make super cool guitar picks for your band and you know i mean the resin you know, it doesn't, you saw it takes like, it takes like no, no resin practically to make these. So yeah. pretty inexpensive to make. And you can just buy a half gallon kit of resin and be good to go. Or a gallon kit and be good for like a really long Forever, time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and then you don't have to continue throwing money at Guitar Center or wherever. You can just buy, make your own picks. And yeah. they're going to be cooler anyway. Custom picks. Yeah. So cool. So we got these made. So I'm actually going to take them into my studio now and just play a little bit to show you how they, how they sound. So, hey guys, I'm here in my studio now. I got my new... Guitar picks that I just made and sanded with Stone Coat Countertop Countertop Resin, again with the help of Mixed Media Girl. And I'm just going to take this for a spin here so you can get a sense of how the tone is on these things. So here we go. got a pretty good sense of the of the tone of these guys obviously you can do anything with the guitar tone but these have a really cool clean crisp sound to them but it's got a warmth to it too that i really dig 
So anyway, there you go. Now you guys know how to make your own guitar picks. Um, it's a lot of fun to do. So many potentials with it, not only for making just a guitar pick that you're most comfortable with playing um, and just in a style that you like, but for merch, you know, you can use it to make your own custom guitar picks so you can sell as a merch item, pick necklaces, pick earrings, all that kind of fun stuff. So again, um, Stone Cold Countertop Resin, check that out along with the Alumalite die, the links to Stone Cold Countertop in the description below. Also check out Mixed Media Girl's channel. Huge thanks to her for uh, showing me how to do this. And, you know, uh, aside from the fact from, that she is my wife and she's awesome, you know, as a wife, she's also a killer artist and I definitely recommend checking her page out. And until next video, guys, I'm Johnny Farrow and I will see y'all next time. Mwah! Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell icon to make sure you're notified whenever I put new content up. There's also an icon in the lower right hand corner of my banner picture that you can click on in order to subscribe. And again, don't forget to hit that bell icon to make sure you know whenever I put up new content for y'all to check out.